Hey everybody, it's Ryan with CPP Tech. How are you guys doing today? Who in the <coughs> needs this? This guy. I'll explain it in a minute. Yes, Hey everybody, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. As you can tell, we didn't do an unboxing on this. There's just so many of them out there that, you know, why, why bother with the, with the unboxing? Um, what, what I stumbled upon earlier was, it's actually it's a Samsung 49 inch CRG9. It's 120 hertz refresh rate. It is the ultra wide. Um, 1440p with the free sync in it. It does it does have the four millisecond response. Uh, but who's this monitor for? You know, it, it does say OLED gaming monitor right on the box. Um, you can't see it; it's hidden. Uh, but I'll be honest, with this much real estate. The content creator, creators will like it. The content creators will like it because of all the real estate that you have on this monitor. Um, I will tell you though, being the curve, if you're not used to curve, which I'm not, it takes about a couple days for you to, your, I guess your eyes to say I'm okay with it because I did feel a little bit, bit of nausea at first, but it, it subsided. I like the flat panel. Um, and a side note, I eventually want to get, been looking at them, I was going to put that vertical. However, that's a 34 inch and it's, it's just way too tall. I just don't want to keep doing this. So I think a 21 inch, even if this is a rather 21 inch monitor, it's not ultra wide, because I don't even know if they even make 21 inch ultra wide. I've been looking, I haven't seen too many of them, if at all. But I just want the vertical mount over here, so whenever we open up Premiere, um, get the mouse over here. When we open up Premiere, we can actually put stuff over here, like all my thumbnails on, on this side, and the timeline, I mean, I have this blown up, but you can make this timeline, I mean, just massive. And as a content creator, you know, you, uh, you sometimes will appreciate having, uh, let's get into editing, have a long, having a longer, having a longer timeline. So you can actually move this stuff over to the, over to the vertical screen. And this can come, and then you've got more real estate to look at your timeline when you're doing your editing and post. You can also, when you go over to the effects side, you can move all this stuff. You know, you, I can make this half a screen, move this over here, and have more room for other things over here. And now let's say, if you're familiar with Pro, if you're not, you can actually bring this timeline all the way up, and then you still have your display of what you what you're working on and, and run run through the run through the video aspect of it and then here you're going to have a whole bunch more stuff depending on how many layers you have just a little side note on why this particular setup could really work for your advantage the uh the other thing i know i'm not looking at the camera or what have you give me a sec the other thing, if you don't have the second panel, you can still, I mean, there's so much real estate. I can't stress it enough. And I have it set in it like 125, 175% on, the, on the, the screen size for the simple fact that when you go to 100% over here, it's so big, all your icons are small and my eyes aren't that great. So it's just a preference, that's all. But 
you can actually split this up. It's going to be 20, two 27-inch monitors. You can split it up into two different si screens, depending on what you're wanting to do. You know, if you're wanting to watch a YouTube video over here or have something going on over here, what, Gizzy? What? If you want something going on over here, and then say you're working on a project over, over on this side, you don't have the bezel, which is, is pretty nice as well. This model here, I believe, I looked at it, I think it's going for like $1,500 on Amazon right now, $1,549. So is it worth the buy? To me, yes, for what I'm doing. As far as the gaming aspect of it, I mean, there's so much and there's, I believe only a few games that are actually going to fill this up from what I understand. Um, otherwise, you're just shrunk to sides or what have you. And I'll be honest, if I'm a gamer, the 34 inch is probably as big as I would want to go on strictly gaming aspect. But as far as as far as content creation, I would go with the 49 inch. I know it's a Samsung. Um, I like the LG out there as well. So with that with that being said, I don't know. I mean, I'm still messing with the the Samsung. I it doesn't have speakers, and the LG does. I'm not going to poo-poo on Samsung. I like Samsung a lot. They they have a lot of great great things. Um, but I know that LG that I saw that I was looking at getting as well is uh, is like thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred dollars on Newegg, but it's not in stock. So I uh, I I really like it. I do. I'm. Uh, I'm impressed and workflow is going to be good. I'm just starting the YouTube channel, so I'll go more into how all that, how all this came into play in, a, in another video. What's up, Gizzy? You say hi? Say hi! Hi! Yeah? Hi, all the people? Say hi, all the people. And there you go. Oh yeah, it's also got um, uh, an H one HDMI port, two two Display ports, and four USB ports on it. And it does come with an HDMI cable and and a display the and a display cable. So that that's pretty that's pretty good in the box. But I'll be honest with you, for that kind of money, it better it better have something, right? If you saw my other video on how I put that one together with the stand. It works the same way, only it has two, two screws and instead of just one because it's just so big. But that was pretty stable. There's a lot of cable management going into that. And on the back side, and you can't see it or what have you, there's an LED that, that, that illuminates as well. So I believe this came out in 2019, which is last year. So with that being said, With that being said, I, if you can swing the $1,600 and you're a content creator, it's, it's well worth the buy. If you're strictly gamer, not, not so much. Um, now, I, I, I guess I'll retract that a little bit. I mean, you can, like I said, split it up and game on one side and then set up your OBS on the other. And that's, that, that's, that's a plus to it. Because, I mean, honestly, I guess if you're going to have two 27-inch or two 34-inch monitors, just have all in one and game on one side, OBS on the other. So I guess I can retract that previous statement for gamers or what have you. But, uh, I mean, most, most of the time, I don't know. I guess it would work out in that aspect. So, yep, impressed. If 
All right, so if you like this video, hit subscribe and like. Put your comments down below and have a good day. Do you approve? Easy. Do you approve? Yeah? Tell them. Do you approve? Do you like it? Do you like it? What? 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 Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, right, go, 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 no.